Bullying is a very big problem at schools across the country. 23% of students in grades 4 to 6 have been bullied several times or more, while 20% admit to being the bully. Here with advice on what parents can do is child psychologist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein. Good morning. Good morning. Those numbers are amazing. They're it's staggering. not just scattered, isolated incidents. It's a good fifth or more of kids absolutely. who are victims or are bullies themselves. Yes, absolutely. It's happening. It's pervasive. And in, in a funny way, bullying behavior is happening a lot. We all have done it at some point, mm -hmm. but this is really when it's happening in an ongoing way with real intention to hurt the other person. All right. If you if you become aware that your child is acting the bully, boy or girl, doesn't matter. You've got some advice and things that you really need to act on. Mm -hmm. And among the things you say is don't allow excuses. Absolutely. It's so often that our kids come home, but it wasn't my fault. I didn't do it. He did this to me. Really encourage them to take responsibility for what their role was in this. Mm -hmm. Encourage the sentences to start with I. I did this when he did this to me and then you can really encourage taking personal responsibility and accountability for their actions. You also say that you need to identify the causes. What are what what's at root of this? What can you learn then if you identify the right. causes? Well, if you know why kids are bullying, and we often focused on the targets mm -hmm. in our to topic, so it's so important to focus on the bullies themselves right. because they are equally at risk for things. 25% of the kids who bully are in jail or have criminal records by the time they're 30. Wow. So we want to look at this. So we want to think about, is it just their temperament? Mm -hmm. A lot of bullies tend to not read social cues well, not have that empathy Mm -hmm. card that other people have. Right. Have they learned it from somewhere? Bullying is a learned sure. behavior. Do they observe it that their parents use power to get what they want? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the kids learn power. Right. And also, oftentimes, so many times we can pull it apart and say, kids are bullying to feel power, feel accepted, and to work on their self-esteem. They right. have self-esteem issues too. Mm. Discuss bullying behavior. That's what you really were just talking yes. about there. But in the end, you've really got to enforce consequences. Yes. You've got you to lay down the law. You do. You have to be the person in control. So if you say to them, these behaviors are really not acceptable in our house. There's no name calling. Mm -hmm. There's no um, fighting. There's none of these things. There's no excluding your friends because you just don't like them today, right. which is a different kind of bullying. Mm. We have to say, if that happens, here's the consequences. And here's the behavior that I expect from you. Right. And start to reinforce that behavior. Mm. If you reinforce the positives, right. they'll really know what to expect and what you want. All right, we've done what happens when uh, you're uh, victimized by this. Mm -hmm. And we just want to quickly go through that list as well, sure. including talk to your child. Yes. If, if the child comes home and says, this kid beat me up, you've got to, you've got to have a conversation. Ask the questions. And chances are your kid is not going to come home and say, this child mm. beat me up. You're going to hear about it. Right. You'll, or you'll see signs. Maybe they're going to not want to go to school. Mm. Maybe their clothes are ripped. Maybe they're avoidant, more depressed, mm -hmm. crying a lot. Mm -hmm. So you want to ask open-ended questions. What's going on? Make sure you talk to the teacher or counselor. You want to be empathetic to yes. the child as well, right? Yes. If they feel like you're going to punish them for not fighting back, they're not going to want to talk to you. And last but not least, do not, under any circumstances, contact the bully's parents. Which probably everyone is going, what do you mean? Of course I'm going to contact the bully's parents. But now you're going to engage in bullying between the parents. If it happened at school or it happened at camp or it happened someplace else, go to the people running the program and start there. All right. Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, as always, thank you so much. Thanks. Do appreciate it.